think the four equations that you were to solve on a quiz recently, and if you're watching this video, I wanted you to have a chance to go over and see what the correct way to answer the question is. So starting with number one, here's how you make a decision about what to do. You look for the variable first. So each of these problems, I'm going to make my eyes go directly to the variable. In a particular order, I'm just looking at all four equations and marking where the variable is. You don't need to put the little circle. That's just there so you can see where I'm looking. All right, the first equation, 14x. Where your coefficient is 14 next to the variable x, it means 14 times x. I need to do the inverse of 14 times x. The inverse of multiplication is division. And I can divide by 14 as long as I do exactly the same thing to both sides. If I divide by positive 14 on the left, I have to divide by positive 14 on the right also. Left side of the equal, right side of the equal. What that will accomplish is this. 14 divided by 14 is 1. So now I'm left with 1x. Just written as x. The coefficient is invisible 1. Equals, and on the other side of the equation, negative 56 divided by positive 14 is negative 4. So showing your division Using a division line is what we'll be doing in algebra. This line right here, doing the same thing to both sides. A number should not just disappear or change. You have to provide an explanation for the person looking at your work to know what you did. So number one is an example of an equation where you solve by dividing by the coefficient. Number two over here is another one-step equation. I'm looking at the x and asking myself, what is happening to x in the equation? Well, x is having a number added to it. The number is 11. The inverse of adding 11 would be to take away 11. I don't want plus 11 on the right with the x. I want x by itself. It's OK to subtract 11. As long as I do what? Same thing on both sides. This line that I just wrote right here shows what I'm doing before I make a change. So the decision is to subtract 11. The reason the decision works is this. Negative 25 minus 11 is negative 36, so that's fine. 11 plus, or excuse me, x plus 11 minus 11 is the same as x plus 0. 11 and minus 11 put together adds up to 0. 11 and negative 11 are added in inverses of each other. So that leaves an x by itself on the right. The number that x is equal to on the left. You know you're finished when you have your variable standing by itself with a coefficient of positive 1. The visible coefficient is positive 1. And take a moment and compare number 1 and number 2 here. Each one I've solved the equation completely and the last line x is by itself with a coefficient of 1. If x starts out on the left side of the equation, I should leave it on the left side. If x is on the right side of the equation, like it is in number 2, I leave it over there also before I start solving anything. All right, look at number 3. Right here. m over 4 means m divided by 4 equals negative 13. I need to do the inverse. Whatever's happening to the variable, I want to undo it. So if this means if m over 4 means m divided by 4, that means I'm going to multiply by 4. Make myself a little room here. 
And I like to show multiplication with parentheses. If I used a little time sign, it would look too much like the x to the sum equations, and then I'd look at it and go, well, which one's the variable, m or the x? So parentheses are a better way to show multiplication now. All that does over here is cancels out the fours. Think of it this way. 4 divided by 4, or 4m divided by 4, this way you do with 1m. The 4s will cancel out. On the right, the equation tells me what to do. Negative 13 times 4 is negative 52. M over 4 means that divided by 4, the inverse of division by 4 is to multiply by 4. That's what I did. Alright, equation number 4 looks like this. M is on the right. What's happening to M? M has 16 being taken away from it. The inverse of subtracting 16 is to add 16. So I'll add 16 to both sides. And now M stands alone. 22 equals M, solution to the equation. Now, one way to catch a mistake if you make one is like this. Let me make a little room here. In this first equation, x is equal to negative 4. If I go back to the original, the part I wrote, wrote in black, and here, I'll just take this one away for a moment. I'm taking the original equation, and I'm going to take the letter x out and leave a blank space there. The only thing I took out of this equation was the x. And I'm going to replace it with a number. I do need parentheses now to show this means 14 times negative 4. So I can grab a calculator and say 14 times negative 4. It will sure enough tell me that I get 50, negative 56. Same thing on both sides tells me that the equation is true, that negative 4 is the correct answer for x. Any other number I try to put in there for x, and I will not get a true statement. Remember, this is just checking your work to see if you're correct. In class, we talked about how to check your equations on the TI Inspire. Be sure to ask for more practice or more explanation about how to do that if you need more help. So look over each equation, figure out if you made any mistakes and why you missed what you did, and make sure you understand well enough where you could explain the process to someone else if you needed to. Need more help? Be ready to ask in class next time we discuss it.